Packing it up. Tell us about last night. Last night, I was pretty cozy in the tiny tent. Cozy in the tiny tent. Yeah. Well, I did. I had to get up and put some more layers on. Yeah. Uh, four or something. Bill, were you cozy? I have one thing to say. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> Dogs. All night. <laughs> so it got chilly last night. It was about 43 degrees when I looked at one point there. And we were pretty well prepared, I think. Everybody, I think, slept fairly warm. Nobody froze to death. Uh, so you can tell we're all kind of bundled up today. So Bill, being the infinite genius that he is, he had the phone number of the lady who owns the restaurant right over there. Maybe you've heard of Dottie's. Somehow, and we don't know the whole story, Bill had acquired her cell phone number. I know there's probably more to that that we'll get into later. But he called Dottie because he had heard her say once that if a group of people were coming through, she would come over and open up to cook for them. So he called her last night, and by golly, she answered. And he, in his wily ways, convinced her to come in and make us some breakfast, even though she'd had a real busy weekend. So Dolly's gonna cook for us this morning, we're hoping. 7.30, we're supposed to meet over there and she's gonna fix us up. So we're looking forward to that. We all slept plenty warm, I think, and we're all geared up today, but it's supposed to be up to 79 today. So we're gonna be able to uh, take off all this stuff and really enjoy the weather again today. Tonight's not gonna be quite as cold, I don't think. I think it's only supposed to be down to like 54 tonight. So not nearly as bad, so. This is the beginning of day four. No right, McGill? Yes, sir. All right. Are you having, great, great are you having fun? So far, yeah. I, would have, I mean, an adventure. That's I'm right. Unlike any other, man. You That's know, good, good people, good food, good conversation. Yep. Great trail. Yeah. If you haven't been on the Katy Trail, it's a must-do, man. It's brilliant. Yeah. Really Absolutely. Anyway, we're glad you're along with us. Let's get this day started. So this is Dottie. Well, there's where we camped. There's the train car. And here's Dots. So this is Dottie and her daughter. Come to see Dottie in Hartsburg if you're ever on the Cape Trail. Right? Definitely. Excellent food. And we're off. Real cool this morning. North Jefferson Trail here. This is the community of Tebbets. Lots of grain bins and silos and trailhead up here. There's the Turner Katy Trail Shelter basically a hostel you can stay in. Drop money in an envelope. The key is on the telephone pole beside the building. And this is the Tebbets Trailhead. 
This is our Trek representative of the crew. Right. This is 1120. 1120 man. My first bike packing trip having a flight. My name is Miguel Acosta. I'm from St. Louis, New York. Oh yeah. Looking good. Bike's looking good. That would be an extra large bike. It's a good looking ride though. We got this guy back here. He's questionable though. Any guy on a Fargo is questionable. What's that? Said any guy on a Fargo is questionable. Oh yeah, yeah. In fact, they don't sell this kind of ride to just anybody. You got a you got to fail a personality test. <laughs> Too many days in the darkness without a glimpse of the light. We're gonna go down here and see if we can find a burger. Running tired and broken. So this is the Mo King Bar and Grill and. Dr. Watusi here tells me that they have an awesome mushroom and Swiss burger. Back on the trail. Had a bacon cheeseburger with mushrooms and Swiss. Some cheese fries, a couple of Diet Cokes. Famous rock. Riding into Herman. You gotta go along Highway 19 South. You gotta come up to the Missouri Bridge where you gotta climb. That little climb, get over the bridge and over to the city across the Missouri River. Climbing the hill. There's the river. <laughs> <laughs> 